ready to jump into my world of November's TBR? You know you are. Welcome back. It is yet another TBR video, but this one is going to be a little different. How different you say? Well, for starters, we're going to try to work on the books that I've been in the middle of but had no time to finish like last year or something part of this year. So we're going to switch it up and from my lovely cauldron, we're going to pick the top six I really want to try and focus on, and then I will pull out the rest that is on my Goodreads that I am currently in the middle of that I definitely need to finish reading. So, <laughs> there's that fun thing. And I might have just eaten an airhead before I recorded this, so if you see my tongue is blue, that would be why. Anyway, we're gonna move on from the blue smurf tongue and pick out my top six books I really want to focus on for next month to smash out for the year and get some more red. There's Burning God that comes out in November that I pre-ordered that might get read in December if it comes in November. I'm saying December. It's been a day. Anyway, we're continuing on and we're gonna stir up my cauldron with my fancy wand and we're gonna pick out six top books that I'm going to try and hopefully get through. Hopefully they're not a chunky monkey ones because that's the ones I'm scared to read the rest of and that is some of what I got. Not all of them are chunky, but the majority of them are chunky ones. So let's see what the top six are. Okay, stir in my potions. We're predicting the future for November. Told you. Different. Fun. Okay. Pick the one at the very bottom. Don't be chunky. Oh, we don't need to yet. Just the one. What are you doing? Alright. Okay, it has two books on here, so that's okay. It, Win and Never Fade, which I have not started yet. My friend Kat at Bookshop Streets picked them out, and I definitely need to get to them. And. Those are the first two picks, so Kat, if you're watching, hi! And get excited! Okay, let's stir this pot again. See what we get. So far, so good. Not chunky books, we like this. But I might have just chased that. We'll roll with it. <laughs> okay. Another pick from the bottom, closing my eyes, I'm not peeking. Please don't eat. Whoa, why do I keep grabbing too? That can fall on the floor. Ooh, the rest of the Ruin and the Keens. Okay. Let me get that book. I should have gotten the other ones, but didn't. And for the Ruin of Keens is a book about dragons and about a guy who gets kind of kidnapped into his from his worlds so I definitely need to finish this because I have all three books now and I really want to know what I really want to know what happens to one of my main characters here in it's been a while so I kind of forgot his name <laughs> but I remember his sarcastic personality and I don't know why but that's a trait that I like and he definitely has that and I definitely need to get a move on because I left off originally right here so I'm gonna use this bookmark to get to right here again and finish the book so here's the hoping for that 
And since one fell in the floor while I was going for another one, instead of putting it back, I'm just going to see what it is and hopefully it's not a big chunky book. There's... <laughs> I spoke too soon. And I've been putting it off. I read part of it. Did I get around to finishing it? No. But it's an Ow Chunky Beast. And that is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And it's the only book in this series, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm breaking out, but probably because it's massive. And I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I just need to push and power through and read the rest of this bad boy. So like I said, I've heard good things, and it's got dragons in it, and the cover's gorgeous. Just, again, the size doesn't always intimidate me, but for some reason, this one does. But yet, the Stephen King books, the ones that are huge like this, doesn't. I can't explain it. <laughs> Even though I should try. But that's all I got. Okay, so so far we got one, two, three, four. Let's hope the other ones aren't bad. Hopefully that's the only big chunky one. <clears throat> but like I said, I probably jinxed it. I did my big one about before. <laughs> Rest of the Sea Witch. Yes, that one's not chunky. <laughs> she says offensively. If I can grab it. The Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. All I know is that it's a little mermaid's retelling, and I read a little ways into it before before I stopped. And I got up to was that the page up? Okay, I stopped at page 56, and I liked it, I just never continued on with it. Why? Don't know. Don't really know why I do that with most of my books. But apparently I do, but we're going to try and fix that and get through most of these books before the end of 2020. That is my hope. My plans. Anyway. Okay, so one, two... Three, four, f oh, is that five already? One, one, two, three, four, five, one more. I know there's a couple more books that I definitely need to go through, and I will get you to them. Hopefully. More of River and Royal and Blood. Okay, that one's not a chunky one. Oh, goodness, I almost fell. Alright, A River of Royal Blood. I think I wrote it down wrong, but it was for this book by Amanda Joy. I hear it's really good. It's about blood magic, magic of morrow, and blood. A rare gift held most nobly by the first human queen of Mare and continued through her line. It's, it is also the most fearsome despite a court known to exact the strength of monarchs, the gruesome practices of this magic made it a subject of whispers and for its users to shame this up-surprising up power, power has always inspired fear. We read it right, I just, just said it differently. <laughs> but anyway, I've heard nothing but good things about this book as well, and I didn't get very far into it, but I need to. I need to change it up and get far into it and finish it, so those are the top six I definitely want to get to. We're going to do the stir thing again so I can figure out the 
other ones that I can work on reading this month. Because I know it's a lot. So let's stir my little portion. Let's see. Oh gosh. The rest of Ace Death Shades. Okay. Grabbing all the rest of the books that I need to work on finishing. <laughs> Why didn't I grab them before I started? Ugh, I didn't, but I am now. And there's a lot, so bear with me. And I almost forgot one more. Or no, two more. books to hold. <laughs> Alright. And it's a tower and this tower is going to knock over. So. Alright. Another book I definitely want to try to get more through is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames. I started it a while ago, but I never continued. And I need to because I really liked it and it's adult fiction book so we like a, adult fantasy on this channel so I definitely need to get around to reading this and then we have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson which I tried to start part of the year before and I have a receipt in the, <laughs> the things we find in here Alright, Suspense's world has been under attack for decades. Now, pilots are the heroes of what's left of the human race. Becoming one has always been Spence's dream since she was a little girl. She has imagined soaring skyward and proving her bravery, but her fate is intertwined with her father's, a pilot himself who was killed years ago when he abruptly deserted his team leaving Spencer the daughter of a coward her chances of attending the flight school slim to none no one will let Spencer forget what her father did yet fate works in mysterious ways flight school might be a long shot but she is determined to fly and accidentally discover it in a long-term cavern might just provide her with a way to climb the stars. And I've also heard nothing but good things about this book as well. Well, most of these books I've heard good things about them, so definitely want to get more into this, to this book, and it's about space. I don't read a whole lot of space books, but I have this one. And then I also have Children of Time by Adrian Tabokshi, which is also another space book. We're kind of seeing the theme here for November. A little bit. Dragons, sea witches, space. It's going to be a fun month, and that is what I'm counting on. In this book, they, it goes back and forth between the humans and intelligent spiders. Yeah, that might be why I've been putting this one off just for a little bit, but I've heard good things about this, and I really need to get more into it. I've left off on page 77, 
like I said, I start them and then I set it down and I forget about them and pick up other books instead. That's my excuse. <laughs> it's a bad excuse, but we're gonna try and fix that. That's why this month is just reading the ones that I'm already currently in the middle of. Just need to finish them. <laughs> and I have finished the first two books in the series, have not yet get to the third one. But I definitely want to read the third one because I definitely want to know what happens to our main character, Mia. And that is Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. During the summer, I got the UK edition covers and they're gorgeous. And I want to read this one. I like the US cover versions as well. But I definitely want to read this one. It's just... I'm excited and I want to see who's telling me a story. I have a couple people in mind who it might be, but I want to know if I'm right or if I'm completely thrown off and don't see the twist coming, but I have a feeling I might know who, maybe. It might, like I said, it might be completely wrong, it might not even be that person, but I guess answers will tell us so we're excited i need to know how it happens so no spoilers please if you've read it but mm, i need to know what happens with mia I, I i just need to know at this point and same thing with this book i started when it like came out have i finished it uh, i mean obviously not if it's still on my currently reading on Goodreads, and that is another chunky boy, and that is The Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. I got a little ways into it to find out what happens to the main character. I got up to like 235 and stopped. We really need to stop doing that though, honestly. But this is the last and final book into a throne of a glass series. If you haven't read this last book, I won't spoil it, but it has been out for a little bit, so I don't really need to give a description on it. It's just, I've been taking my swing time with it because it's all so big. But I don't know if it's as big as this one. I'm, mm, this one has more pages than this, but this one feels thicker. These, this feels thinner-ish, but oh my goodness. Next month is gonna be fun! Alright, and then another book I definitely want to try to finish reading more of, because I only got to like right here, is Siege of Storm by Leigh Bartugo. Now this is the second book to Shadow and Bone series, and I like it, there's just time. Time gets away from me, that's all I can say right now, is just basically time. But I definitely want to take the time and try to finish this after reading maybe the big chunky books. We'll see. Maybe like wind it down with, you know, the short, the short books and, you know, knock them out of the park. That'll be fun. And then this is the Ace of Shades book that I picked up from my jar by Amanda Foody. From what I've read of it, it's really good. It sounds like it's got like magic. And she has to try to find her mother because her mother has been kidnapped. If I'm remembering this correctly. Yes, her mother has gone missing. Okay, and then her daughter must leave her finishing her schooling and her reputation to follow her mother's trail to the city where no one survives. And then she meets this guy. Levi Glaster. Unfortunately, Levi is not the gentleman she expected. He is a street lord, a con man. Levi is also only one payment away from cleaning up a rapidly unrevealing investment scam, so he doesn't have time to investigate a woman's leading dangerous double life. Anne's offer to compulsion, however, could be the solution to all of his problems. So. I was definitely correct. It's been a little while since I read into it, but yes, 
We need that. A little bit of magic. Most of these books have magic, so I'm not mad about that at all. And another book I definitely want to get in, more into because I have the entire series. So I definitely need to get a move on with the first book because, like I said, we got the series and it sounds and looks amazing and they look good on my shelves. Moving on from that. I'm going to try to work on reading The Rest of Malice by John Gwynn. Now this is another one of those adult fantasy books, which I have a couple of those on this month's TBR that I've been in the middle of that I really need to finish. And this also kind of gives me Game of Thrones vibes, but I'm detecting that it's going to be a little bit better than Game of Thrones. So. Fingers crossed. And I've gave a description on this before in previous vlogs. So I'm not gonna say much about this except for it's going through one, two, three, four different guys. Oh we love it. And like I said, I do really like it. It's just I put them down and don't pick them back up. I have to stop doing that. And that's why my TBR list gets us so long. That's ridiculous. Alright, the other book I really need to get through because I love the first one and why I stopped in the middle of this one. I have no answers. <laughs> and that is going to be Cricket Kingdom by Levar Dugo. Now this is the second book to Six of Crows and Kaz has like one thing on his mind is to get Inej back from the bad people who stole her from him and I'm hoping there's going to be a little bit of romance when he gets her back and hopefully nobody else in their team goes missing not even the kid that Jasper likes Wayland I love him and Wayland together like stop but like don't stop I just really need to finish this. I need to do like a couple 24 hour readathons and knock half of these books out. I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. Oh, I forgot another book, actually. Okay, I have three more books to talk about, and then this TBR is done, and it's all over the place, and I am sorry about that. Alright, another book I really need to work on finishing more of is A Curse in So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. I hear this one is really good. Like, I like it. I'm just scared for the second one, but the third one is coming out next year, and I have the first two books. I really need to finish this one, so... I can reward myself with the third book if I'm gonna like, you know, the first two. We hope, fingers crossed, but like, I do like the beginning of it, that I remember of it, but I definitely need to get the rest of it done. I need to get the rest of all of these done, but one book at a time. Alright. These are the next two books. I'm going to talk about it is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandria Christio. This one I think is also another retelling of The Little Mermaid as well. I have a heart for every year I've been alive. There are 17 hidden in the sand of my bedroom. Every so often I claw through the shingle just to check they're still there. Buried deep and bloody. I count each of them so I can be sure none were stolen in the night. It's not it's not such an odd fear to have. Hearts are power and if there's one thing in my kind craves more than the ocean, it's power. And what I have read a little bit of it, I did like it. It's a little spooky, but we like spooky. 
Um, right, this last book I'm going to talk a little bit about is another adult fiction, and that is Seven Blades in Black by Sam Skies. This is the book one of the Crave Empires. I have a second book already that came out this year, and I'm so excited. It's about Sal. And Basically, for what with this book is, her magic was stolen. She was left for dead. Betrayed by those she trusts the most, and her magic ripped from her. Sal the Confoundy has nothing left but her name, her story, and the weapon she used to carve both. But she has a will stronger than magic and knows exactly where to go. The Scar is a land between powerful empires where rogue massages go to disappear, disgrace, soldiers go to die, and Sal goes with a blade, a gun, and a list of seven names. Revenge will be its own reward. I'm excited to finish the rest of this book and I, just, I love Sal. Just, like I said, I gotta stop reading halfway through books and then setting them down and picking up another book. Ugh. So hopefully this month with all these fun books behind me and beside me that I need to try to finish, it's gonna be a nightmare. My own personal nightmare. But here's to hoping that we get half of these done or all of them done. All of them would be ideal and exciting and fun <laughs> all at the same time. I don't know what that was. Oh, it's been a weird day, so we're gonna keep going with this weird day, I guess. Anyway, that is all the books I'm hoping to read and get done next month. And like I said, i hoping Burning God comes quicker for me and not in December, but if it comes in December, I'll read it in December. But we hope it comes in November instead so I can read it then too, so we shall see what happens first. But alright, if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, the notification bell to get an email for every time from whenever I post new videos and I guess we'll see you in December because I also have a fun read-a-thong that I'm doing with a couple of friends over on Instagram we don't have like a group chat for it yet but we'll figure it all out when the time gets closer like around Thanksgiving time and see how it goes from there I don't know know all the full details but that's what I don't know but yes this video is like I said it's all over the place we're just gonna roll with it and take a picture for the thumbnail so that's gonna be fun all right I will catch you guys hopefully in another video soon and hopefully it's not all over the place like this one is I'm sorry but I wanted to get it out and get it ready. So uh, that's what this is. Alright. Alright. Bye guys.